Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to a new Let's Play. It is Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Couldn't you save data? Nah. Wow! It's just a float, you scaredy cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. Uh, right, Sparks. So, we meet again, little dragon. I'm back, and I'm stronger than ever! Who are you calling little, Shorty? Nobody invited you! This is an invitation-only party. Very clever, Dragon. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. What do you want this time, Ripto? Oh, yeah! What do we want this time, boss? You're not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian landmass! Keep thinking and I will send you back to the place I found you, unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Now, back to what I was saying. Well, what do I want this time? I'm glad that you asked, Purple Pest, and I will be happy to demonstrate. Since I've had enough to do with dragons, I thought, perhaps, Dragonfly. <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but... You see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. Soon, the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> Spyro, that little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies. Even Sparks is gone. Spyro, Hunter, oh. don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. Sparks! I thought I lost you, pal. That was close, Sparks. Listen, I think I may have figured out a way to catch those dragonflies. Spyro, stand back. Whoa! What'd you do that for? Drat. That didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different breath abilities. The bad news is you're going to have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool! Come on, Sparks! Let's get going! We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day off? All right. So here we are playing Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. It's been a long time coming. The first part is pretty damn boring because there's just a lot of collecting, a lot of random shit like that to do. So bear with me, bear with me. The game is incredibly slow, incredibly glitchy, incredibly annoying. Um, it's actually, it's doing okay right now, but you'll see. Here. Take this dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune... Yeah. Um, I'm going to skip those cutscenes because they're pretty much inconsequential. Like, here we are. We've collected one of these. Fantastic. Get to go over to this thing here. Collected rune. Get a power up or whatever it's called. Spyro, the magic of this sacred rune will bestow upon you the power of bubble death. What an incredible, what an incredible power. That's the first thing we unlock in this game. Bubble Breath. Isn't that fantastic? Alright, so here we are with Enter the Dragonfly. Look at it, look how slow it is. Butterflies, yes. Now, this one feels exceptionally cruel. Uh, watch this, right? 
Wait. Come on. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. So, if you watch this, you see look, they become just a mere piece of meat. That's what they become. <coughs> Trying to charge these baskets. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do this first. Yeah. Alright, so as you can see, that is similar to the one in Spyro 2 and 3. For all intents and purposes, this game is, I would, I would call it a, a clone of the, of, the, of the second and third game. Specifically, I reckon, specifically Spyro 3. With bubble Breath, yep. We'll learn how to use Bubble Breath right now. For example, what you have to do is you have to press... Uh, this button, you catch it, you just, all you have to do is go up to it and then press the button required to get, you know, sh hey, you know shoot fire. Tunes. tunes, that's the first one, tunes. Um, yeah, so that's all you have to do. It's, it's pretty simple in that regard. Um, but some of the later dragonflies, they, they're actually, they become a little bit mischievous. Like, they're actually a bit difficult to collect, uh, to, to catch. Kind of reminds me, it kind of makes me think they've taken from Ape Escape or something like that with that kind of you know, escape on the loose type feel, you know, it's not like an orb where you can just pick it up, or gems, you know, it's a bit different. Uh, so here's the first entrance to a level. Good work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro, find the dragonflies before Ripto. Before Ripto? That's a good callback to Spyro 1, that uh, graphic, isn't it? Alright, let's head on over here. Oh shit, wrong button. What, what button? Wait a minute! I just realized I've got the whole control scheme messed up because I, I I don't know the, uh, the 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 controls. I don't know what the buttons are for each one. So I reckon uh, I press square to do that, right? I'm pressing circle to do this, and triangle is my breath. So that that's, that's how that's how good I am with uh, what's the word bloody control things. I've got no idea what's going on. So I'm just going to switch that right now, if you don't mind. I fixed it. Okay, so, one thing you need to know is I'm playing this in widescreen as well. Now that means basically what I do, there's a hack on the emulator where you can actually basically get the game, like get the game to pull, like show more of the screen. Uh, it's actually, it's quite useful, it's quite amazing really if you think about it. Um, one thing is that yeah, it makes some textures a little bit weird, like for example the, the thing there extends past the regular gate or whatever you want to call it. But, you know, that's alright. So, you look at look at the frame difference. It just, it's insane the kind of frame differences that you're getting here um, that pretty much cannot be, cannot be fixed. Uh, you'll notice that the, the music, for the most part, stays intact. And so, that's good. That, that means that it's actually, like, it's not lagging or anything and part of the emulator. But it's the fact that the game itself just cannot run properly. It's always, it's always fluctuating in speed. It's always fluctuating like that. Um... So that's 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 the biggest that's the biggest issue. Well, one of the biggest issues with this game, um, that's for sure. Hey Spyro, you know if you press the A button to jump, then press the A button again in midair, you can glide. Follow me. All right. So look at this. Even this is kind of like a redux of you know of the other game, except uh, the other games, but it's not as good. Hunter's not. Hunter's not as cool in this. This is just such a simple jump. It's like, yeah, all right, whatever. Whatever, and then we gotta go across here. Way to go, something shiny. Yeah, so, yeah, once again, dialogue is completely throwaway in this level. Like, it is just completely pointless. There's no merit to it at all. It's such boring tutorial garbage. It's kind of annoying in a way, because I'm thinking, you know, like... Alright, uh, yep. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, like... Why don't why don't you just why don't you just let us figure it out? You know, I guess they're trying to. It is, it is a reboot, I guess, in many ways, in terms of for kids playing this game with a new system. Also, sound effects like audio of the characters there is lower. You can't actually have, like edit the that just their voices. Uh, and look, he I don't know what he just did, but he just jumped away. And it's just now gone forever, basically. So, yeah. All right. Okay, so that's camera. Awesome. Yep, left and right. Okay, so here we got a little challenge, which I always found interesting. Um, basically, you have to flame all these guys in a certain amount of time, or that's it. Now, I actually never really... I've, I, I know I did do it when I was a kid, but I used to find it really annoying. Um, right, come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
seven. How many have we got to get? Ten. And you have to do it in a certain amount of time as well. Otherwise, you, you miss it. So, what's to talk about with this game? So, we've got, um, what? Well, we've got decent graphics, but glitchy. You know, like that kind of, like, just kind of average sort of style. Oh, shit. Actually, I think what you need to do is... I think I've realized what I've, got, what I've done wrong. You have to go back and recharge it while you have enough time. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it. See, look, I'm... Or would that reset? Would that reset the challenge? That's a good question. That's actually interesting. I see. This is this is actually kind of like a blind LP because I haven't done played this game in ages. So uh, what happens here? So if I say I was to get this one, right? Would it reset if I had to do it again? All right. Let's have a look. So I go up and get this one. Oh God! What a fail! All right. I'll go and get this one again, and then what happens? But yeah, so this is this is the Dragon Realms or whatever. But it doesn't doesn't feel like it at all. Like it just seems like some random place. Like it, I don't. Where is this? Is this like not the artisans or what? Um, I w guess we can. Okay, let's have a look. Oh wow, wow. Okay, you actually have to get them all in one go. That's that's kind of difficult. Right, we'll wait till it's run out. Now let's talk about the first cutscene. So we got the return of Ripto. Right, and that's always cool. But uh, we got this random reference about you know begging for work in Molten Crater, which I know they're trying to do that to like appease this like the classic Spyro fans. They're like, hey, look, you know we know what we're talking about. But the thing is, it doesn't actually make any sense because why would you be in Molten Crater? Why would you have gone from Avalar to the Forgotten Worlds? More or less, I guess how would you even get there as well? So uh, that, there you go. There's, there's, there's our Spyro logic uh, thrown back in their faces. God damn it! All right, okay. Anyway, let's. Rush through now. We should be able to do it. Oh god. There's no there's no room for like see look, it's just oh it's so awkward. God damn. I didn't know how okay, wait a minute. I think I'm stuffed. Alright. You know what we'll do? We'll go we'll come back and do it later. We'll do it later. We might as well just keep talking about the game. So in the first part, yeah, you can see Bentley in the background there on a, on like a big giant balloon or thing or whatever you want to call it whatever it is, I don't even know, uh, so we've got that, we've got a nice, um, another door, we need to unlock, we can't unlock it yet, we've got, uh, Agent 9 was there as well, we've got Bianca's back, you know, Hunter's back, Noah Laura, um, Crush and Gulp talk, now you'd think there'd be three bosses in this game, Crush, Gulp and that, like the other game, but unfortunately, this is, firstly, this is the portal of where, where you verse him, but, um, What's interesting is that, yeah, there's only one boss, there's only one home world, and that's because everyone knows this game was just rushed to oblivion. Uh, I don't know if that's the right word to describe it, but I mean, it was just, like, you can't even comprehend how rushed this game is. I mean, yeah, firstly, there's basically 10 levels. I, I guess there's, or maybe 11, I guess there's 14 if you think about it, because there's actually four uh, speedways. So, the levels are quite big, and they do take a while. In some cases, they, they actually take longer than it would have in, in, Spyro, um, in Spyro 3. Like, I will give them that. But the thing is, is that it's almost useless, because, you know, um, it's just the game is so buggy and slow and that, and so I just don't think many people have the patience to beat this game. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think that's that's one huge indicator. Like, I, I personally, like, I'm, I never 100 percent it because the game was just too damn slow. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just fluctuated. Like, the GameCube version is actually better than the PS2 version. The PS2 version is even worse, believe it or not. Um, so it, it just makes this game incredibly stressful to play, incredibly just frustrating for the most part. Um, and we're actually going to get this. Here we go. Gonna get a second dragging fly. Oh, is that a third now? Here we go. Yep. Release the dragonfly. Here it is. Hey, it's Jeet. Jeet. Seriously, what Equinox and that? What were they thinking, naming wise? Like, what were they actually thinking? I have zero clue because it is the weirdest naming scheme in this game. Like, there's one like. Tabasco or something, no, not Tabasco, something really weird, I don't know, this, this game is just weird, um, but that concludes the first part, we're not even getting started yet, we're going to do some awesome stuff in the next part, don't worry, this part, yeah, boring as hell, we're just doing normal 
stupid platforming crap. Well, not actually, sorry, not platforming crap, just administrative, you know, BS. Uh, in the next part, we're going to get into the proper game. We'll be able to really talk about this game and, and where it falls short and where, where, it, um, where it does well, I think, because there's some, there's some good stuff coming up, believe it or not. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part. Thank you.